Hello everyone. I hope every one of you is in best of the health at the moment. So let's move ahead this problem. Uh, we have to form partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constant. Okay. So as you can see in this question, we have variables x and y and we have z also. So we have to eliminate the arbitrary constant uh, which is uh, you can say a or b or a square or b square whichever way you prefer. So we have to eliminate them and form partial differential equation. Okay. So let's start. How to do so? Uh, there are basically three steps. In first step differentiate partially with respect to x. In second step differentiate partially with respect to y and in third step we will eliminate the arbitrary constant so uh, as of the first step we will differentiate partially let's name this equation 1 partially equation 1 with respect to x now when I say differentiate partially with respect to x it is clearly understood that y will be treated as constant and a and b are obviously constant so here 2 as it is derivative of z with respect to x partially so del z by del x equals to. derivative of uh, 1 upon a square obviously will come out derivative of uh, x square so that will be 2x y square constant, uh, b square constant, their division is also constant, so here it will be 0. Now some of you want to write uh, del z by del x as p. Some of you don't want to write, so I am happy with uh, both of you, del z by del y as q. So if you want, you can write this as p and q, if you don't want, let it remain as it is. I want. So let's uh, replace uh, this as p equals to, now I can cancel this 2 also, that will be better. So my p equals to x divided by a square. Now one thing I noticed, I have 1 upon a square. So why not uh, do one thing? Take this x to that side. So p by x you are getting as 1 upon a square. Because this will now be easily eliminated. So let this be equation number 2. Now we will repeat the same step. But this time we will differentiate partially with respect to y instead of x. So differentiate partially equation number 1 only with respect to y and again it's understood that uh, we will be treating x as a constant this time. So 2 times del z by del y x constant so x square constant a square already constant their division their fraction is constant so now we are left with y square by b square again 1 by b square out and partial derivative of this obviously will be 2 times y. Again I will cancel 2 and keeping this in mind I can write this as q. If I take this y to this side again because I can uh, smell uh, that what I have to do in next step. So this is 1 upon b square. So q by y is 1 upon b square equation number third using equation 2 and 3 in 1 so if i do so 2z is equal to x square by a square now i can write this as x square into 1 upon a square plus y square into 1 upon b square. Till now I haven't used equation number 2 and 3. Now I am going to use. So 2z equals to x square. 1 upon a square can be easily written as p by x plus y square. 1 upon b square can be easily written by as q by y. 
so 1x gets eliminated 1y gets eliminated so your 2z is px plus qy now one thing i want to say that some of you only some of you don't want to use this p and q so i can back replace p and q only for those guys so 2z is what is your p that is del z by del x and uh, multiplied by x obviously and what is your q q is your del z by del y multiplied by y obviously is this a linear or a non-linear partial differential equation now see we have no problem with x and y being multiplied by del z by del x and del z by del y because x and y are independent variable and them being multiplied by this uh, is no not a matter of a problem so this is a linear partial differential equation okay so if someone asks you is it linear or non-linear we have non-linear only in this type of cases either it is z square either it is a uh, del z by del x or del z by del y whichever you choose whole square or del z by del x whole square these two cases and then uh, we also have del z by del x into del z by del y so whenever you see 2z here also z into z here also del z by del y into del z by del y so in this type of cases are examples of non-linear otherwise it's going to be linear only okay so again recalling the steps these are basic steps i'm saying uh, first step differentiating partially with respect to x so that i get a relation then i did the same differentiated partially with respect to y so that i again get a relation then i just eliminated that is what we used to do in ordinary differential equation too that was normal differential e equation there also we used to do the same thing we just eliminated whatever arbitrary constant were there and we got uh, our differential equation there also and here also okay so i hope you understood and at last uh, the concept of linear partial differential equation also was done if you want you can uh, use this as p and q otherwise also this is fine okay so thanks I hope you understood at least something from this video. Thanks and have a very nice day.